Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. Oh, we are going to start decorating this puppy um, because I got everything I think made for the journal to put in. I've got it all off to the side of me here. Um, what I wanted to do was I, I'm going to put one of these on. I'm going to put this one here. And then put the corset. Like the little corset thing. In the back. Uh, I need some glue. I need my Fabri-Tac. For that, I believe. Just a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well today. I think Rhoda is now in West Virginia. Uh, doing her genealogy stuff with her friend Zach. Who helps her on that. I just got there watching her uh, pharmacy journal uh, video. Love, love, love what she did with that. It looks amazing. Whoop. This came from Padded Heart Company on Etsy. But I don't think uh, she's, I, I don't think she has a shop anymore. I haven't noticed uh, any new things or anything listed in there. So, but I'm sure you could probably get them from other shops on Etsy. I'm sure there's several of them that probably do uh, things like that. I'm going to leave the Fabri-Tac out because I might put some lace on a few of the pages. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to glue this down. I don't think I'm actually going to glue it on as a pocket or anything. decided to put it down on the pocket because none of the pages were actually wide enough without my having to trim it down a little bit and I didn't want to mess up the dimensions of the actual um, corset itself whoa I've got a layered tag here that I want to put into this pocket do I want to... there we go or do I want to put it down there and then see that is a pocket and this is just a journaling space And I have another, yeah, that's the pocket. I could put it in here. Will it fit? It will. Excellent. Okay. Now that is a tall pocket there. 
I'm going to glue it in a U shape so I have a double pocket in case I want. Put something else behind there. Uh, got another journaling spot I can put somewhere. Will that fit? No. Perfect fit in there. One, two, three. We've got some dictionary page here. Ah, uh, that's. I wanted to. I've got some stickers and stuff off to the side just to add a few little things here and there. Oop, I hear my Dexter. I may just glue that down as a decoration. Right there. And I'm not inking around everything. Thomas in the background. He's watching YouTube and uh, talking along to the video. As part of his autism, he just does that. Um. So if you hear anything in the background, that's just him talking along to the video. Oops, that's not. It's too big. I think those are the rest of that stuff's all too big. Okay. I have a couple of little journaling cards here I can put in there. One, two, three, four on this side. Um, 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 let's see. <clears throat> Got a couple of things I could use as a tuck spot. Don't know that I like that. Ah, oh, yeah. This is a little tuck spot. I could just glue down half, or well, I say half, about a quarter. Oop, stuck on my shirt there. I think that looks good with the page underneath it. 
Here's a little tag. Okay. And I think I want uh, one of my little Victorian ladies over here on this side. My stickers. I bet you I used that, yeah I did, that, uh, that was supposed to go in here. So I will have to find a different, is it upside down? have to make another long skinny tag to go in that other spot because that one was made for that okay what did I do with it right there will that go in here it will well I say it will Come on. There you go. There we go. There. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got this uh, page trim that I'm just going to set. It's a sticker, I think. Pretty certain it is. Well. Y'all know me and stickers. Okay. Okay, that's pretty doggone sticky. More like washy, but I mean like a but like a sticky washy. But it's thin like a washi tape. But that's alright though. I like the way that looks. Uh, do I want anything on this side? I could just glue that in. As like a little flip out. Yep. I think I'll do that. can be journaled on. One, two, three, 
sure. Let me get rid of some of this trash real quick. Oh. Whoa. And I've got... That might be a little too big. But, you know... We can always trim it down. Yep. I like that. This, that was just from a stash from some uh, Happy Meal that Rhoda sent to me. But I figured the colors would go well. Since it's got uh, Victorian roses and butterflies and birds and kind of a little bit of everything. It's a journaling card. Um, another pocket. Will that fit in there? Nope, that's too long. But again. Can be trimmed off. Needs to be trimmed down just a hair more. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. Eventually, I'll invest in one of those book weights that go on a book. I gotta put my feet up just a hair. Oh, there we go. So, I got a couple more of those pockets, but I don't want those right now. And this is the little peekaboo tag thing. I think I'm going to put it down. Okay, that's just the top of it. I was going to say, hopefully that doesn't go down. Okay. One, two, three. And I haven't added any lace onto these pages or anything yet. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to. Simply because I don't know that I want to add that much bulk on there. I didn't really think about that when um, when I uh, did the cover of the journal. But I might, you know, go back through and add some at the bottom rather than the sides. That's our notebook. I can put that in. Okay. Two, three, four. I feel like I would need to cut that off too a little.
I've got uh, another little scrappy notebook. Put that in there. Okay. Two, three, four. And those are journaling cards. That's a pocket. Okay, and I'm just going to glue that one all the way down. our belly band will that fit it will barely but it will fit okay You guys working on anything good any interesting projects or anything at the moment right now this is the only thing I've got in the works is the Victorian journal oh well besides the steampunk ephemera um but I do have plans for another journal after this oh what am I gonna put in here I don't know a tag maybe on this side and then I could put something on the other side of it maybe like this postcard yep perfect okay one two three four so that is the middle. I think I'm gonna just glue something down on either side. Uh, probably a butterfly. And another one of these uh, calling cards, I think. Don't want to make that a little pocket. Let's see. I've got this little tuck spot here. Okay. Will this fit inside? Mm-hmm. It does. 
on this side. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, goodness. I don't know if I talked about steampunk in a little bit of the history. Uh, steampunk, of course, is based in the Victorian era. And um, it was actually based on like a dystopian novel. I cannot remember the novel or who wrote it I just remember reading about it uh, about a time uh, you know in the Victorian era where there was a lot of gas powered um, or steam powered uh, machinery uh, like flying contraptions and things like that and, um, and then the styles of course they wore the same type of clothing except for a lot of browns and leather and metal um, but I, I think it was mainly because in the Victorian era was kind of the height of some inventions and things like that especially like in medical and uh, vehicular because um, you know that was when the first actual automobile was uh, invented but you know it wasn't until later that Ford Motor company kind of perfected it and then ran with uh, the first fully functional vehicle. Uh, but things like, you know, like flying blimps and stuff, you know, before they actually became a thing. Let's see. I do like that but it won't fit without cutting it down and that's okay we can do that Uh, but yeah, that that's kind of how the Victorian, I mean, uh, the steampunk thing came to be. Um, you know, people kind of fell in love with the idea of steampunk being in the Victorian era. And I think it's fitting, you know, like I said, because of some of the inventions and stuff that had come about during that time. I've got other pockets here in case I need them. have that. Will it fit in there? I don't think it will. Oh, but it do. Sort of. Nope. Okay, not without pulling that up. Alright. It's quite alright. Those in. All right. Two, three, four. Don't want to just glue it down. Might as well. Oh, I don't want to glue it down because of that. Let me see. Can I? Let me pull that out. Yeah. I'll put that in. Maybe I will have a pocket. 
too big. Well, no, it'll go. Well, that, yeah, it'll fit in there. Okay. that out since the butterfly matches. quarter of the way. Um, let's see. That's a pocket, but I don't have anything to put in there. That's a little belly band that I was going to do, but I think I'll just tuck it right inside there. could be a belly band and then we'll stick the other tag slash belly band on the inside of that
and glue some in there. that on as a tuck spot. Is that a pocket? No. Uh, 
I have one more pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And I've just got one more like little journaling card, whatever. That I can put right there. Wonder if I should put a paper clip or something on that. Alright. Oh my, look how chunky she is. Yeah, I probably won't put lace on it. And I'm not going to do a flip through since you guys just saw me decorate the entire thing. So, there it is in its entirety. It is now um, put together. And she's beautiful. Okay, let me trim that off just a little bit. So I emptied my bucket. Full of the ephemera that we had made. Still got a few more goodies, but I can uh, put those into my stash to use for something else. I mean, not like made stuff, but like butterflies and flowers and my Victorian lady stickers and whatnot. Um, but as thick as she is, I won't, I won't add the other lace and stuff on there. Although it would have been pretty, I would need a thicker spine for that, and I don't have that, but that's okay. Alright, so that is it for this video, and when we come back, I'll do the substitution series, and then we'll move on to something else. Alright, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys back here again really soon. Bye!